All right, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about my favorite tools to dry your vehicle. My favorite option is the leaf blower. This is 100% touchless. This is gonna get 99% of the water off of the paint. You're still gonna have little dribblies and we're gonna talk about that in a minute. But first and foremost, this machine will do the, all the paint without any effort whatsoever. It's great on windows too. It blows the, the water straight off of the glass. You can use this on the wheels. So pretty much this gets you almost there. And I'm gonna do a full in-depth review on this real soon, so stay tuned on that. But for today, that's all we're gonna uh, talk about with the leaf blower. Okay, so how are we gonna deal with those dribblies when we're done with the leaf blower? It's called the Gauntlet. It's a 70-30 blend and it's 900 GSM. It's actually two towels sewn together. Man, this thing is super absorbent. It can hold a lot of water. Another cool thing about it, it's got a hybrid blend, which is half twisted loop and half Half just normal plush microfiber towel. It makes it really good to use, really easy to use, and it does a good job grabbing that water off the paint. After we're done with the leaf blower, we're gonna go around with our drying aid and we're gonna hit different spots on the car that might have those dribblies around the emblems around the door handles, maybe around the mirrors. Just do a full circle pass around the whole car and make sure you get all that water off. And use your drying aid so that you lubricate the surface and you're not wiping and smearing around and dragging a dry towel on the paint. That'll leave marring and scratch and we don't wanna do that. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. I don't have a leaf blower. What am I gonna do? There's a, a solution for that too. <laughs> Of course there is. We got the gauntlet towel. This is the huge one. Same deal, 50-50 hybrid, 900 GSM, two towels sewn together, large enough to do an entire SUV, or you can be a bullfighter. Hola! <laughs> but it's large enough to uh, do an entire SUV without even ringing it out. When I do smaller cars, um, I, honestly, I could probably do two cars with this thing almost. So we'll take this, hit it with our drying aid so that we lubricate that wet surface, and we'll do the magic carpet technique and see how this thing works. All right, so the first pass, it gets most of it off. Again, I'm not putting any pressure on this paint. Let's do another pass. And the majority of it comes off. Now with this towel, of course you can fold it up, wipe it around the paint and get all, every single bit of it off. Flip it over, do another pass and just buff it to a nice shine. And make sure when you're using a towel like this, you're using a drying aid. If you're unfamiliar with how to do that, check out my video. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description or you can look back into them, how to properly dry your car. You know, I've had other drying towels in the past and I like them. They're still my old favorites, but when new technology comes out, new things are available. I wanna test them out and if I like them, I like them. If I don't, then I don't. Okay, so now you're wondering, how do we dry the wheels? If you have a leaf blower, easy. Just go ahead and leaf blow those wheels off. They're gonna come nice and dry too. They're still gonna have those little residual dribblies and we'll talk about that in a minute. But my next favorite way to dry the wheels, the Master Blaster. This thing works amazing. It's filtered air, it's warm air. The motor heats up in here and it, it warms the air and blows it out. It's not, I don't think it's really a traditional heater. But look, you can actually see that it's caught stuff in the filter. That's kind of cool. So that stuff would have normally sucked through and blew out onto the paint. So that thing works good. Let's go ahead and see it in action. And here you can see it just drying the tires with ease, blowing all the water down around the rim into the bottom. And then we just blow it on out. But, it, and I feel like the majority of the time, this will get it 100% dry because of that heated air. But let's talk about if we do have some dribblies. They got a gauntlet towel for that too, the small version now. If you have large wheels or you're doing a big four wheel drive truck, you may need a couple of these. But typically with my vehicle and vehicles of similar size, this is more than enough. So we'll just go ahead and take it, wipe it around the tires, wipe it around the wheels, get everything collected into the towel, and that's gonna work great. And I know you're probably thinking, why wouldn't you just use the other towels? What we don't wanna do is mix these towels up and clean wheels and dry wheels and then end up next time on the paint and some of that contamination will cause scratching and marring. So all these little ones are specifically for wheels for me and I like to keep them separated. Okay, so now that we got them all dried up, now we're gonna put some tire dressing on. 
Oh boy, that tire dressing looks sick. <laughs> okay, but man, we got a little bit on the wheels. What are we gonna do? This is where I come back with your typical plush microfiber towel. Again, black, color coordinated, so we don't mix wheels with paint or end up dragging any of this stuff anywhere in our normal detailing process. So I'm gonna take and wipe that tire dressing off of the wheels and get it done. And that's what this one's for. Okay, so that's my process for drying the vehicle, drying the wheels. I like to keep everything organized, have different towels for different things. Um, I know that this is a little bit costly, but it's kind of a one-time investment and this is gonna carry you for quite some time. So leave a comment down below. Tell me about your process. I'm always interested to hear it and everybody else is interested to hear it too. We appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button. There's a lot of viewers that haven't been subscribed, check it out. It's worth it. I like it too. <laughs> all right, so with all my processes that I like and all my tools, this is no exception. Oh, that gets the double hammer. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah.